We are in Kissimmee, Florida, just south of Orlando, in one of the biggest food truck rallies that they hold every weekend with a huge variety of different Latin foods. And we're going to indulge and I'm going to show you guys what this place is all about. So we are getting here Mofongo. We're getting mofongo. It's a traditional Puerto Rican dish made of fried plantains with a little bit of garlic flavor and pork bites. Which is supposed to be really good. And the prices are right here. Hey guys, so from all the food trucks, we ended up uh, deciding for, for the Puerto Rican food. Because, you know, my husband's Puerto Rican, so I know what Puerto Rican food is and it's amazing. We're gonna get this right here. Mofongo with pork bites. Delicious. Hey guys, so my usually my usual videos usually consist of me being in another country, but now I'm in my home country where I live. We're in Florida. And we're here at this place in Kissimmee, Florida, where they have like a huge amount of food trucks, as you can see behind me. A lot of different food trucks from different parts of the world. Colombian, Puerto Rican, Venezuelan, anything you can think of, you know, from all the countries. They even have uh, something really interesting. They have Puerto Rican style Chinese food. That's really interesting. But I ended up adding for the, the Puerto Rican food uh, traditional dish, the mofongo fried plantains with pork bites. So let's hope it's good. And this is just like a place if you're ever in Orlando, you know, coming to Disney and all that stuff, you can take a trip down to Kissimmee, where I'm at, and try out the food trucks. And right in front of the food trucks, down that way, like literally across the street, they have Old Town, where it's like a, kind of like a, an amusement park for adults. It's free to go in and you just pay for the rides. And we're gonna be checking that out too. Nathaniel, let us know how this... What is this again? Pinacolada. Pinacolada is. I like it. It's good? No. Creamy? Not creamy, but it's Not good. creamy? Okay. It's really good. Is this a mocktail? Because you love mocktail. It's not a mocktail, it's a pina colada. Pina coladas have rum in it. What? Well, this is a mocktail, because most pina coladas have liquor in it. And over here from the Colombian food truck, we have Colombian empanadas. It's good? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm about to try the delicious piña colada. So good. Oh my God, it's really good. I could taste that it's made with a little bit of condensed milk, so it gives it like that perfect sweet and creaminess to it. It's delicious. So I think it has like coconut in here, pineapple, and condensed milk. So that's a good combination. Very good. Here we have the empanadas. They're okay. It's not too bad actually. No está tan mal, tú dices que no te gustaron. I like them, they're good. In Colombia they do taste better, but these are still pretty good. In Colombia it's uh, like a 10, this is a solid 8. Pretty good. Hey guys, to start off, we got this rice, Puerto Rican rice here. That is made with gandules, which is, um, I'll put the name right here because I don't even know what this is in English. This type of, because it looks like a little bean, but it's not beans at all. It's like this type of bean like the it's uh it grows in puerto rico the gandules so i'll put the name out so that way you guys can see it but the flavor is amazing look this is the short grain rice which a lot of puerto ricans use and they use a lot of flavor to make this rice which happens to be delicious all right okay so right here we have the mofongo which is the fried plantains the green plantains and they're fried with uh little bit of pieces of pork they're built in in there and these are uh, very crunchy chicken bites which somewhat almost resembles uh, chicharron pork rinds but it's not it's chicken and it's very good I love having these 
Okay, so I'm gonna try the chick crunchy chicken bites. By the way, the chicken in the middle is really juicy, and the outside is like a crunchy texture. Really good. I'm seasoned so well. What did he do to your face? He didn't do nothing to me. This is the fried plantain. Very good. And it's got the little uh, pieces of pork inside. Delicious. The chicken, which actually happens to be very tender in the inside and crispy on the outside with really good flavor. Sorry for the close-up. I just wanted y'all to hear how crunchy. This is my first flight. Hey guys, so we're here in uh, Old Town in Kissimmee, Florida, my hometown. And I'm gonna be giving you guys a little tour of this place that you can come if you ever are uh, coming to Disney uh, near Kissimmee. You guys can always like come here. It's free to come. They have a few rides, a few shops. Pretty cool stuff to see, you know, like if you're looking to something to do on a Sunday. I'm gonna show you guys. So Old Tom is pretty much an amusement park featuring old time carnival rides, shopping, dining, and weekly classic car shows. Hey guys, so these are some of the things that they have to do here in Old Town. These rides, they throw you up, up high, real high. Kind of scary. I like about here, um, Old Town, is that if you come kind of like in the afternoon, in the evening, right before sunset, it's nice. But after the sun goes down, it's nighttime. I like how it looks. The li it lights up really pretty. I really like it. You, a lot of more people come. The rides are going up and down with different colors. It's really pretty to come at night too. So right this way is where they have all the rides, all the things that you can do here for kids, for adults. Obviously, this ride up here, that's for adults because that's a crazy ride. And then they have a few ones over here for children right over there. Okay guys, here we go. This is the ride that I've been telling y'all about that they have here at Old Town. Anyone always driving around Kissimmee knows about this ride. This is one crazy ride. They bring you all the way up and they just drop you. They drop you like a watermelon. We're gonna watch. Usually at nighttime, they have lights up. So you'll see it all light lit up. It's pretty cool. I will not get on that thing. Mm -mm. Oh my god, they are waiting. Woo. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. There they go. That's some crazy stuff. That's really high. You know what's interesting though, that after they drop you, it's like you don't remain like swinging back and forth really fast. The drop, once the drop is done, it's like you spin back once or twice high and that's about it. Hey guys, this little roller coaster thing here looks like a little rinky ding roller coaster. It goes fast and hard. I was like, what the? Morning, guys. 
So we're here in um, Florida and we're gonna be going to the beautiful springs that Florida has to offer. They're like this beautiful blue springs and they're just so nice to come. So if you ever are ever in Florida, you know, going to the theme parks and Disney Universal, try to find a way to make a trip down to the springs because they're very beautiful. There's like, it's a lot more blue than the, the actual ocean here in Florida is. Hey guys, so we're here at Silver, Silver Glen Springs, which is very beautiful here in Florida. And this is the main entrance, it's $12 per person. And then right here, it's like a little shop where you can get snacks and drinks. And then right this way is the swimming area. And we're gonna go in and check it out. So these are the bathrooms here where you can change. And this is the way. So Silver Glen Spring is a first magnitude spring and the main attraction of the Silver Glen Springs Recreation Area of Ocala's National Forest. Hey guys, so we are here in the springs in Florida, Silver Glen Springs, and they're very beautiful. As you can see behind me, it's super blue, and it's $12 to come inside and you can park. Uh, the bathroom, I wouldn't recommend going into the bathrooms out here, so use the bathroom before you get here because it's actually kind of nasty, the bathrooms. But they have a changing room, which is cool. The uh, changing rooms are really cool, and it's not dirty in there or anything like that, just the bathrooms are. But, I mean, you're coming out here for this experience to enjoy the water, not to really be going to the bathroom out here. This is very beautiful. 12 bucks. So if you guys happen to be um, coming down to Florida, to Central Florida, to go to the theme parks, try to see if you can make some plans to come out here to Silver Glen Springs, which happens to be like an hour and a half from Orlando. And it's very beautiful. This is actually my hometown, Orlando. And I come here often and I thought I'd show it to you guys because it's just so beautiful. I wanted to include it in my YouTube channel so that way you guys can see it and see that there's other things to do here in Florida than just going to the beach and just going to the theme parks that have beautiful blue springs like this, very beautiful. Not just in South America or in Europe.